Intent on ending the suffering of the French peasantry, Sir Jean de Beaumanoir sent a challenge to the English commander. 30 champions on each side would compete in a tournament for final claim to Brittany. With the battleground of the halfway oak agreed upon, Sir Jean set out to gather support from local knights. As a knight himself, Sir Jean followed the strict rules of chivalry and was expected to protect the local peasantry and ensure peace. Most medieval tournaments were friendly in nature, held for sport and glory, but the combat of the Thirty was arranged between opponents mired in war. English raids had torn through the countryside of Brittany and brought great hardship to the people. Sir Jean spotted an English raiding party attacking a nearby farmstead. French knights defeated the English raiders, and Sir Guy de Rochefort joined Sir Jean's party. Apertisets votre courage, compagnon. Front de je commande, avant. Sir Jean's search next brought him to Sir Geoffroy Dubois, whose squires were contending with a detachment of English longbowmen. The knights would use the great speed of their war horses to charge the archers and overwhelm them. The English longbowmen fell, but the French knights knew the enemy would attempt to retake the hilltop fortification and steeled themselves for further attacks.
Avertissez votre courage. Compagnon, retraillez vos amours. Retraillez vos amours. Compagnon, quand je commande, avant. Looking to secure his honor, a young knight held his ground on a bridge in Sir Jean's path. Donnez-moi vos habits. Il nous a chien. Honorably conceding defeat in the duel, Sir Yves Charel joined the cause. Aveillez vos hombres placed. Et comprends. Sir Jean entered the staging area for the tournament, where he prepared to choose which knights would join him in battle. Each knight would be accompanied by his squires, young nobles in training to become knights themselves. Sir Jean had selected his champions. As the sun rose, the two sides entered the arena, ready for the first round of combat. Claiming an easy victory in the first round, the French champions left the arena to recover their strength. Oh yeah. Refreshed and reinvigorated, the French knights returned to the arena for another round of combat. The combat of the Thirty was about to decide which nation would control the Duchy of Brittany. Triumphant, Sir Jean de Beaumanoir and his loyal knights claimed victory. The combat of the Thirty had decided control of Brittany in favor of the French.
Little did the two sides know, this was just the beginning of a bitter war that would outlive them all.